Great Britain, huh? It's pretty. But where are those white cliffs of Dover I've heard so much about? We passed those during the night, Ray. Dover's long gone now. Oh, I know that. So where are we? It looks like we're in Southampton. Ah. Hey, guys, what's up? Oh, looks like Tyson finally woke up. <sighs> hey, what's the holdup? Why is the ship docking? Are we in Russia already? No, not just yet. Southampton is a halfway mark. We're almost there. Halfway there, huh? Whoa. Hmm. What's wrong? It's that Beyblader, Robert, the guy who almost shredded Dragoon. Good riddance, if you ask me. Robert. His bit beast Grafolian was ginormous compared to Dragoon. He's the strongest Beyblader I've ever come across. He beat me without even breaking a sweat. I don't get it. If this ship is taking us to Russia, why is Robert getting off here? Hmm. Uh... Oh, I know. I bet he's bored with the ship's food, so he's going into town for breakfast. Leaving for breakfast? Now that sounds like a pretty good idea to me. Then why don't we go too? But we don't know how long the ship is docked here. What happens if it leaves without us? Don't worry about it. The ship, uh, the ship won't be leaving for another six hours. Hmm, six whole hours? In that case, there's plenty of time. I vote that we go, yes? Yes, we'll have five or six breakfasts to keep our strength up, and then I'll be ready for a rematch. Well then, what are we waiting for? So, you guys coming? Are you kidding? Let's go! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See? That took no time at all. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Great. Where'd the ship go? Mister, where's the ship that was docked here? Oh, it set sail about an hour ago. <gasps> it set sail? The ship left without us? But we were supposed to have six hours! <laughs> Hey, don't panic. <gasps> so the ship set sail, and we have to get to Russia. Has anyone here got any ideas how we can do that? Well, Kenny? Um... Yeah, we get the old man who played that trick on us. I don't really think that will help us, Tyson. If we're gonna make it to the tournament, then we need to find another way to get to Russia fast. Well, we can't walk there, Ray. And none of us has any money. Why don't we call Mr. Dickinson? He's the one who paid for our boat tickets in the first place. That's right. We have friends in high places. There's no way Mr. Dickinson would leave his own team high and dry. Uh, but how can we reach him in Russia? What? What do you mean? I told him to fly ahead and get things ready for our arrival. I didn't anticipate losing our ship halfway there. We'll never find him now. Wrong. I know where we can find the address. Great! I finally get to see Big Ben, and it just reminds me how much time we've lost. Why are we in London, Ray? Russia's in the other direction. Because there's a very special building in London. You mean we're going to Buckingham Palace? No, Tyson. We're going to the BBA's British office. The BBA's British office? That's right. There are BBA offices all over the world. They're entirely devoted to the study and promotion of Beyblading. They also help traveling Beybladers like us. It's like having our very own embassy. Wow, the BBA sure is huge. If anyone can find Mr. Dickinson, it's them. Well, here we are, our home away from home. I'm sorry, boys. Mr. Dickinson is unavailable right now. Uh-oh. <sighs> Sorry to disappoint you. The chairman is not at his residence right now. I'll inform you as soon as I get a hold of him. In the meantime, you're more than welcome to stay here with us. That's what we're here for, taking care of Beybladers. Uh, I guess we'll wait. I'll check you into a hotel suite. Thank you. Hello? See, everything's gonna be fine. I guess so. Huh? Hey, is... Is that... 
Robert? No way! What's he doing here? Oh, that? That's a picture from last month's tournament. Robert went undefeated the whole time. He's the regional champ. The regional champ? Hmm. I'm not surprised. He's awful tough. So Robert will be competing in Russia for the championship? Actually, no, he's not going. What? Why isn't he? Yeah, why? I... I'm afraid I haven't got a clue. Robert isn't competing, but he's the best Beyblader I've ever seen. It just doesn't make sense. We'd better get to the hotel. Maybe we can order some room service and kick back and watch a movie. I'm worried about the championship. I don't know if we have what it takes to compete. You should, you be, should afraid. be afraid. Very hmm? afraid. <gasps> Gone! Are you okay? Oh, yeah, let's get going. Now that we've got a roof over our heads, we need to plan our next move. If Mr. Dickinson sends us money, we can fly to Russia. And if we can leave London by Friday, we'll arrive before the ship does. That sounds good. So things are going to work out perfectly. Yeah. No. No? I don't think so. I don't want to take a plane. How about we take a bus or something? Or we could go by train. How come? You want to do some sightseeing? Are you kidding? You act like you want to get there slower, not faster. Well, it's just that I kind of want to meet more people, that's all. Meet more people? Yeah, European Beybladers. Uh, what did you say? I've been thinking about this ever since we saw Robert's picture at the BBA office. He's the most powerful Beyblader we've ever seen. And he's not even in the finals. What if all the European Beybladers are stronger than he is? What then? Gee, I hadn't thought of that. Robert doesn't Beyblade like we do. He treats Grafolian like a slave. And if I hadn't ended the match when I did, I know he would have torn poor Dragoon to pieces. We need more experience Beyblading at that level. This could be our only chance to really improve our team. You know it's true, Kenny. After all, you told us we needed better all-around training, so I don't think we have much choice. So the choice is to make it to the finals or get better along the way and miss the finals entirely. I don't like either one of those options. Me either, but... I understand what Tyson's saying. I think the most important thing for us to do is to order some room service. Well, what do you think, Kai? I don't care one way or the other. Huh. Figures. I don't care one way or the other. Package for the blade breakers. Coming! Here you go. Thank you. Hmm. What's that? Oh, I'm not sure. That's weird. There's no signature or address on it. Oops! It's a videotape. That's my father! What? Honest, that's my dad! Really? Uh-huh. I haven't heard from him for maybe six or seven months now. He's on a dig. Archaeologist? Uh, yeah, he's been working on the same project since I can't remember. He seems to be delivering some kind of lecture. We can finally confirm our speculations. They have existed and interacted with our civilizations since the birth of man. Their images appear as idols in early civilizations, such as ancient Babylon and Egypt. What is he talking about? Although different societies give them different names, the translated meaning always remains the same. They are always considered to be powerful, sacred spirits. Can it be? Part mythological, part magic, a melding of both science and nature. Today, they have a new name, Beyblade Bit Beasts. Bit Beasts? What? Bit Beasts? So my father's sacred spirits are actually bit beasts? According to legends, most sacred spirits exist in animal forms. They appear in hundreds of fables, fairy tales, and myths, always attached to a small object 
and appearing in a powerful burst of energy whenever called upon. Whoa! A small object? Like the bit in our Beyblades! No way! That makes a lot of sense. The White Tiger Tribe has been passing Drigger's bit down from generation to generation since ancient times. And Dragoon's bit was passed down to me. It's a family heirloom, the Dragonheart Sword's bit. Then it's true. Our bit beasts are those sacred spirits your dad mentioned. Hmm. These sacred spirits are revered as a symbol of great power in countries all over the world. However, there are some notable exceptions to this rule. There are some powerful spirits that have grown evil over the centuries. Oh, man. There are evil bit beasts? That sums up our initial findings. I'll report again as soon as we discover anything else. So Tyson's dad has been researching bit beasts all this time? Yes. And his findings are amazing. We don't know who sent the videotape, but it looks like they want us to know about the history of Bit Beasts. There's a lot more going on here than just Beyblading. We should try to learn as much as we can about them. I'd like to know more about them too. If we end up facing one of them, there's no telling what they could do. The tape may have been sent to trick us, but I think I can trust Tyson's dad. What do you make of all this, Tyson? I'm as surprised as you guys are about this. I don't know why my dad didn't tell me, but I know it has something to do with why we're in Europe. That's why I'm not flying to Russia. You're not? Nope, I'm gonna travel by train. If I'm gonna compete with the best, I have to learn from the best, like Robert. There's no other choice. No! We've got to get to Russia! I've made up my mind, Kenny. I'm not the only one who needs to do this. Dragoon wants this too. I can feel it. You can't leave the team. Tyson, who knows what will happen? Hey! It's you! <laughs> Where did he c come from? <laughs> I have risen from your night. Yeah, as if. Whoa, man. Talk about Afternoon of the Living Dead. <laughs> Stop him! He's got Dragoon! Oh, oh, there he is! Oh. This way! Dragoon! What's that Beyblade doing to him? Dragoon! I call upon the Dark Blade, the source of my power and reaper! I think this is one of those evil bit beasts Tyson's dad talked about. I can feel waves of dark energy radiating from it. Hey, he's trying to force Dragoon out of his Beyblade. Are you ready, Max? Yeah! Huh. Wait, we need to make a plan. Let's Can't maneuver! Oh, we're trapped! That's why he led us here! Well, now it's time to fight back! Right on! Trigger! Drasil! Yeah! Get him, guys! What's that? He's finding them! 
Oh, no! He's got Trigger and Drasil. No way! How can we fight an attack like this? Especially since I'm the only one left. <laughs> Sakaka! Destroy the big beasts! Squeeze the life out of them! <laughs> There's nothing we can do now! Dragoon! Not yet! There's still one Beyblade left. Kai! Come and get me, you walking band-aid! I hope this works. It's our only chance. Let it rip! Let's go, baby! He's retreating. We'll rip some big light and feather. That's it. Follow the leader. Let's go, Blade Winners! Let's battle to the end. Let's go, Blade Winners! We're the coolest of friends. Take that. Let's rip it through the sky. It looks like Kai's got that mummy under wraps. He used its own power against it. That's brilliant! Fire arrow! Kai did it! They're free! Dragoon, you're safe now. Could this be one of those sacred spirits who have grown evil? Who are you? Come out of there! <laughs> Very well. What uh, are you? I am your destruction! Sarcophalon! Retreat! He's free! Don't be so lucky when you meet again. <laughs> That's when I'll break the Blade Breakers. <laughs> he... he vanished... into thin air. Yeah, we were lucky this time. That was no ordinary Beyblader. He was like a ghost. And just what did he want from us? I don't even want to know. This proves we should get out of London as fast as we can and fly straight to Russia. <laughs> What's so funny? What? What could be funny at a time like this? <laughs> What's the point of running? He found us here. We can learn from him. He is really good, even if he is a bad guy. I'll meet this awesome challenge, head on. Are you crazy? Tyson, listen, that guy was dangerous and we gotta go. Who knows what'll happen? I'm going with Tyson. Huh? He's right, we need to meet more powerful Beyblades. I'm going too. Hey, all right. We'll find every Beyblader we can and we'll learn from all of them. And then we can be ready for the championship. Win or lose, we're sticking with you. Together, no one can stop us. I tell them they're being unreasonable? I'll go too. What? I won't relax until I know we can beat that guy. Oh, I don't believe this. Looks like you're outvoted, Chief. Uh, all right then, we'll take the train. But you've got to promise me we'll get to Russia in time for the finals. After all, that is the whole point of our trip, isn't it? Oh, how will I explain this to Mr. Dickinson? Europe, we're ready for anything you've got. Because no matter what you throw at us, we'll face it as a team. Let it rip!